Why, hello, my friends, and welcome to another edition of Writing Sonnets with Shakespeare. I am your friendly neighborhood, Shakespeare, and I'd like to thank you for joining me here uh, this morning on Twitch. We are doing the show live this morning only on twitch.tv slash nat21adventures, so please go like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can also uh, follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Shakespeare Approves, and uh, the show will be replayed later at YouTube on youtube.com slash Shakespeare Approves. So it's so good to have you here. Um, we're going to create something unique together today, something maybe a little bit silly, but definitely special to gather and uh it is my pleasure as always to be here with you this is one of the highlights of my week and i uh i want to thank you all for being here with me but uh do make sure that you like and subscribe to uh the channel that we're playing live on right now twitch.tv slash nat 21 adventures if you have an amazon uh prime membership you can uh get a free subscription uh, to uh, a Twitch channel once per month. So uh, go consider spending it with Nat21 Adventures. And uh, if you want to support the show, you certainly can do so. You can support the channel uh, by going to patreon.com slash nat21adventures. That supports all the shows uh, Sunday through Thursday right here on this Twitch channel. And you can also support me personally um, by going to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Shakespeare, and become a Patreon of the Arts. Tears start at $3 and go all the way up to $30. And uh, there's some fun uh, rewards in there. And you can also just buy me a cup of coffee by going to coffee.com slash Shakespeare. But we have our, um, a bunch of you already joining us here on Twitch this morning. Um, Sir David Percival, good morrow, Sir Bard. Uh, Sally, and also Sally uh, saying, uh, did the coffee break post? No, uh, coffee break did not post yet. My other show because I've just been running around ragged. <laughs> so that is uh, not up yet. I will uh, put up a big announcement when that happens. Um, it's going to be several more, do more days though. So I am so very sorry for that. Uh, Johnny O Twitch is here. Wakey, wakey, shake and bakey. <laughs> there we have it. So um, let us uh, get into it. What are we doing? What are, Why are we here? And uh, what's it all about? Well, we're here to write a sonnet. And what is a sonnet? Well, a sonnet is a poem. It is a 14-line poem uh, originally created by the Italians, as are many good things. Um, it follows uh, that it has three four-line stanzas and a rhyming couplet. Now, how the rhyming patterns work is the first line, line A, rhymes with the third line, line C. And then you do it again and again. Uh, so line B, so the second line rhymes with the fourth line, line D. And you continue that for all three stanzas, then you have it all close off again with a rhyming couplet, as I said. Now, it is in iambic pentameter, which means that is 10 syllables per line. And uh, you can go to 11 syllables, which is called hendaka syllabic, if the need arises. So. Clear as mud? I hope so. I'm, I keep looking at the wrong camera. It's like, oh, hi, how are you doing? Nope, nope, you're over here. <laughs> oh, goodness. So let's get into it. What do you want to write about today? What are we uh, talking about today? What is our sonnet theme? Throw it into the comments and uh, we will then uh, vote on it. So throw everything in there. And let's start talking. In the meantime, though, uh, I'm going to have a sip of coffee. I have my own, my own uh, coffee right here. This is going to be the blend of uh, the new um, Shakespeare's Coffee Break coffee, which will be coming, uh, which will be coming soon from Mocha Origins. Yeah, so it's happening. I can't actually say what <laughs> because things take time. Uh, so I'm just going to stop saying when it's happening until uh, production lets me know when it's happening. So <laughs> there's that. Um, Johnny O is suggesting that we talk about Alexa as 
always. <laughs> uh, or artificial intelligence. Uh, Screaming Dragons recommending a great book. And Sally uh, seems to be uh, voting for that one as well. Uh, so we have two good suggestions at the moment. We have Alexa slash AI and a great book. But what else could we be talking about? Are those the only suggestions for today? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, um, Johnny O uh, is switching his vote from his own from his own suggestion to a great book, saying a great book is better. All right, Johnny O. Uh, too funny. Uh, so, oh, 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 we didn't do a nice noisy slurp, did we? No, no, here we go. Which is good internet audio, I don't care who you are. All right, so looks like we might be writing about a great book. Well, let's get our document up here. And... Boom, all right. So, Ode to a great book. And then let's have our candy jar. The candy jar is where we put lines that we like, but we're not quite sure what to do with yet. So, all right. So, what are we right? I'm going to go through all my spectacles so I can see things easier. And what are we writing about uh, today? Let's stop throwing our line suggestions in here. So we're going to do an ode to a great book. Let's throw it in here right now. Throw in your suggestions. All right. Uh, and remember, we want to go with 10 syllables per line. And here is our first uh, line suggestion. Turn the page to find a new adventure. Ten syllables, as suggested by Screaming Dragon. Well done. That is a good uh, potential opening line. Turn the page to find a new adventure. Well done. Johnny O has a couplet as per usual. Uh, the spine, the cover, the story, the pages, there for us always, through the, all through the ages. Oh, that is fantastic. And they, those don't need to go together. I like that. Uh, that could be most of the first uh, stanza, by the way. Uh, the spine, the cover, story, pages. There for us always, all through the ages. See, that could be a good uh, closing uh, couplet, but also um, that just works in uh, in there because if, let, let's uh, expand, let's zoom in on that so you can see it a little bit easier. Um, for instance, if it were to say, turn the page to find a new adventure, the spine, the cover, the story, the pages, then something else that rhymes with adventure and there for us always all through the ages, that works really, really well. So, um, a book enables my imagination. A book enables my imagination. A Hendaka syllabic, Sally. Well done. A book enables my ima that's not a word. imagination. To so David Percival, the mind and words become a joint venture. Oh, good line. The mind and words become a joint venture. Excellent. Mind and words become a joint venture. Rhyming with adventure. Well done. And also, let's open, reminds me, let's open rhyming dictionary so I can help things along. All right. Other things that rhyme with adventure. So we know. Uh, venture or backbencher. Denture, clencher, mentor, um, mentor, mentor also would be a uh, slant rhyme. Venture, as you said, indenture, uh, peradventure, misadventure, uh, risky venture, but not risky business. All right. Why, why did I feel the need to mention uh, risky business? I don't know, and neither do you. All right. Um, 
Fantasy. Oh. There we go. Fantasy, mystery, are great fun. Fantasy, mystery, are great fun. Almost. Uh, we just need to throw in an extra syllable there. But, uh... Fantasy, mystery, are great fun. I want someone to combine those uh, genres, by the way. Um, fantasy and mystery. Make it a fantasy mystery. Or a mystery fantasy. We have it. Sometimes I like the hero bar none. Oh, well done. Sometimes I like the hero bar none. Sally, books on audio, another dimension. Oh, well done. I love uh, books on tape. Books on audio. Another dimension. From theater of the mind. All right, so let's start um, building this first stanza. All right, here we go. It's actually all right here. So turn the page to find a new adventure. the cover, the story, the pages. Mind and words become a joint venture. There for us always, all through the ages. All right, so turn the page to find a new adventure. The spine, the cover, the story, the pages. The mind and words become a joint venture. There for us always, all through the ages. That, that's pretty good, my friends. All right, let's move on to our next stanza. All right, uh, and more, uh, uh, there we go. Another line suggestion there. Whatever the genre, something for all. Whatever the genre, something for all. Well done, Sally. Whatever the genre, something for all. Well done, Sally. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Goodness gracious. Imagination dimension. All right. Start the fire by the old bear's skin rug under the blanket with my coffee mug. Start the fire by the old bear skin rug under the blank under the blanket with my coffee mug right Whatever the genre. All right. The stories help transcend our daily trials. Well done, Sally. And this is just a few of us doing this today, this morning. But also, we don't have Facebook uh, streaming with us because um, <laughs> Twitch. Um, all right. The stories help transcend our daily trials. All right. The stories help to transcend our daily trials. All right, let's see. Yeah. 
Whatever the genre, something from all fantasy, mystery, oh great. Oh, here we go, here we go. A book enables... A book enables my imagination. I'm going to change this one slightly. Make it books enable our imagination. And then whatever the genre, something for all. Uh, books on audio, another dimension. Almost there. Johnny O has uh, some good lines here. No contracts, no tracking, no complication. The printed word, your digital vacation. Well done, Johnny O. Contracts. No tracking. No communication. Printed word. Your digital vacation. I read most of my books on digital though, like my on my iPad. <laughs> I actually do. Um, because it's easier to travel with. I have a fun disagreement with uh, Gwendolyn of the Gwendolyn show on that one. Uh, she travels with a gigantic box and sometimes boxes of books. And I like that. I have so many books um, here in my house and quite a few of my uh, books that I have on uh, uh, digital on my iPad are actually books I also have on the bookshelf. Um, Oftentimes, if I really like a book, I will buy a physical copy in order to potentially get it signed to show my love of the author. Um, in fact, there are a, I this this one's really funny. I have uh, four copies of one book uh, by my friend Mike Duncan. Um, really funny on this one. I originally bought it on Kindle. Then I bought the physical copy. I forgot I had it on Kindle and I bought it on the Barnes and Noble Nook app. And then for whatever reason, I, I still hadn't opened it um, on digital. And then I forgot I had it there as well. And I bought it on Apple Books. So I have three separate digital versions of this book and also a physical copy that I need to get signed by him. <laughs> so it's like, that is funny, I think. <laughs> yeah. So I um but I I have on my iPad between the three different apps, uh probably about four hundred books at the moment. Um and that's not including anything I borrow from the library digitally. So yeah. So yes, it is a digital vacation because I actually will often uh when reading a book, I'll put it into airplane mode so that I get no notifications on there it's the book is the only thing that's happening and i uh, i quite enjoy that i i like it quite a lot and i've also used the ipad reading on the beach so i've gone and had a beach day of i'm gonna read on the beach and it was my ipad and it was it was delightful and it was a beach where we went to where there was no signal at all so there was no wifi there was no um cell signal either and so I was just disconnected completely and it was delightful. It was a genuine delight. So yeah, I like reading on my iPad.
but I also love a physical book. There's something wonderful and magical about turning those pages, about smelling that paper. But uh, digital books are also, you know, a lot better for the environment. <laughs> uh, but let's see here. Uh, all right. Getting into uh, this. All right. A nice hot drink and a cozy corner. Oh, I like that. That is that is delightful. A nice hot drink and a cozy corner. I like the uh, under the blanket with my coffee mug, but I like that one even better. Whatever the world, whatever the world, it whatever the world, it is never too small. There we go. Oh, oh, that goes very nicely right there. Whatever the world. That's nice too. Might make that wherever the world, but because we know, because they're in different places. The smell of the ink, that smell of the ink, paper, the allure, the smell of the ink, paper, the allure. I'm going to change it slightly. There we go, Sally. There are so many books you can get for free on social media. Oh yeah, there 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 are. I um I and I and I download a lot of them, yeah. And then when you are uh, and then often when you um if you sign up All right. Not to give Amazon any more um credit because you know, they're doing they're doing fine. They're doing fine. Also, if you're an Amazon Prime member, um, yeah, go get a script, uh, free Twitch uh, subscription and use it here on uh, twitch.tv slash nat21adventures. <laughs> Throw that back up on screen. Yeah. Uh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Yeah. Yeah. Use it right here. Twitch.tv slash nat21adventures. Yeah. Um, uh, you can... Um, or oh, if you uh, if you're new to getting uh, uh, the anim the Kindle app uh, on uh, Amazon, and I'm assuming also a physical Kim uh, Kindle, but like for Barnes and Noble, for instance, you get several free books, and not just the classics. And like everybody offers some of the classics for free, um, all very cheap. Um, but like for instance, I downloaded um, all of the uh, Harry Potter's uh, for free on Kindle. Um, that's another book series I have a lot of editions of. I have audiobooks, I have digital books, I have the physical books. Um, I don't have the illustrated versions yet, <laughs> but whatever. Um, there, I, I have Frankenstein. Um, there's so many great, um, books you can do, um, for free as well. And also the library versions. Listen to me go on about this. All right. All right. Let's see. Um, the smell of the pages, the feel of the cover. You want to share it? Hand it me, my brother. Oh, I like that. Smell of the pages, the feel of the cover. Pages, the feel of the cover. Want to share it? Hand it. Hand it, my brother. All right. You can travel from the sky to the sea. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, it, it's lovely when you really like something. You want to read it in all of the, the various ways. Um, I am not an audible.com subscriber, by the way, but um, from what I understand, if you are listening to an audiobook version 
of a book that you also have the Kindle version uh, with Amazon. Um, it'll catch you up on either side. So I'm reading and then I listen to the audio book. Chumps you over there. That is what I've been told. <laughs> You can travel from the sky to the sea. All right. Yeah, um, but yeah, quite a few books I have uh, in multiple formats. Uh, for instance, um, uh, there's a book called uh, uh, The End Is, I think it's The End Is Nigh and It's Always Nigh, or End Is Near and It's Always Near, by Dan Carlin. He's a wonderful podcaster and uh, amateur historian. And he uh, wrote a book about apocalypses. And then because he's a podcaster, he also did the audiobook version of it. So I have the digital book, I have the audiobook, and I also have the physical book. So yeah. Um, oh, Fantastic. Dark Tower is, is something I have not gotten into, but I would love to uh, start that. That and Discworld. I need to start reading those two things. But let's get back into our uh, sonnet here. Books enable our imagination, whatever the genre, something for all. Books on audio, another dimension. Let's go with this. What, whatever the world is, never too small. I think we might make it wherever the world. my friends. Oh, right. Um, I must take this phone call. I uh, do apologize. Excuse me.
Hello, my friends. I am so very sorry. Um, um, it's going to be just another um, minute or two here. Uh, I am making an appointment uh, with an orthopedic uh, surgeon. So um, that is uh, on the phone. So I um, continue, um, continue brainstorming and uh, we'll finish this sonnet in just a few minutes. Thank you so much. Friends, thank you so very much for your patience. I was just uh, scheduling uh, a um, look at my uh, knee uh, with an orthopedic uh, doctor. So uh, hopefully no surgery will be required, but um, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. Thank you so very much for your patience, though. Um, so you are having a wonderful conversation over here. Um, let's see. Um, uh, where did we leave off? Uh, so David Percival had mentioned that at one point you had had physical, digital, and audio versions of the Shannara series. Um, and uh, listening to the last book in the Dark Tower series. Uh, and uh, Sally saying for her, um, audiobooks are for long road trips. Fantastic. Um, so David says he's only made it through 20 of the 40 of the Discworlds because I mentioned I stop, need to stop reading Discworld. And Sally gave up on those. Uh, there's a minimum of 73 books. Jeez, oh man. <laughs> Johnny O, trying to get audiobooks of the Drizzt series for his oldest son right now. You can't seem to get the early ones on CD. No, you're going to need to do it all as uh, MP3s. He likes to get them that way to um, MP3 to load them to the device so they can hear them or whatever device they have when they travel. Uh, the only place you found the early ones is on Audible, unfortunately. But depending on what you have, you can uh, download it and then just burn it to a CD. Um, and you're just going through all that way that you are. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So anyway. Oh, uh, goodness gracious. But, um, yep, so no no plans. And the one need no reason can't be fixed. Nope. Sorry. Uh, thank you. I hope the knee mends nicely. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, let's continue with our sonnet. All right. Here's what we have so far, my friends. Turn the page to find a new adventure. The spine, the cover, the story, the pages. The mind and words become a joint venture there for us always, all through the ages. Books enable our imagination. Whatever the genre, something for all. Books on audio, another dimension. Wherever the world, it is never too small. And uh, let us move into our final stanza here. I'm really liking this couplet here um, um, by Johnny O. No contracts, no tracking, no complication. The printed word, your digital vacation. Uh, I'm liking that. I don't know if it's part of a larger stanza or if it's a closing couplet.
Sally. Books are my escape from reality. Good line. Let's try that. Books are my escape from reality. You travel from the sky to the sea. You so foster my creativity. Well done. Books my escape from reality. No contracts, no tracking, no complication. You can travel from sky to the sea. The printed word, your digital vacation. That might work. Books are my escape from reality. Under the blanket with my stomp by the fire. Perskin rug. Oh, that works! Here we go. Here is our sonnet, my friends. All right. Okay, here we go. All right. Let us have an ode to the great book. And let's put some um, background music in with this as well. Uh, so here we go. And it's starting now. The spine, the cover, the story, the pages, the mind and words become a joint venture. There for us always, all through the ages. Books enable our imagination, whatever the genre, something for all. Books and audio, another dimension. Wherever the world, it is never too small. Books are my escape from reality. Sit by the fire on an old baskin rug. I can travel from the sky to the sea under the blanket with my coffee mug. No contracts, no tracking, no complication. The printed word, 
your digital vacation. I like that quite a lot, my friends. Ah, that was good. That was good. Ah, well done, all of you. Well done. Ah, oh, that is fantastic. Ah, that is great. Well, friends, that was a wonderful, uh, that was a wonderful uh, writing sonnets with Shakespeare uh, today. And we had an interruption uh, from the doctor's office, but uh, it it worked. Uh, we, we, we were able uh, to create this. Uh, Sally is suggesting a title, The Multiverse of Books. That is, that is, uh, that is a fun title. That could work. Uh, let's see. Um, with that, huh. Huh, that might, that might be the title, yes. Uh... Multiverse of books. Yeah, the multiverse of books. There we go. Uh, but um, th uh, and thank and thank you, friends, for uh, the uh, good wishes. Uh, yeah, I hope no cutting involved as well. Ah. Unlikely to happen today if it does. But uh, this is a full-on clinic, so we'll see. Maybe. Um, and they take my insurance. Huzzah! Um, but friends, uh, that is it. There will be no uh, Thursday edition of Writing Sonnets with Shakespeare next week. I have a. Uh, an engagement at a school to go off and do. So we might do it uh, earlier or later in the week, maybe. Um, maybe we'll do a Friday or a Wednesday. Um, but uh, be on the lookout for um, Shakespeare's Coffee Break coming at some point uh, soon. Uh, several episodes are uh, probably just all going to drop near each other. And um, that is what we will do with that. Um, in the meantime, remember, Nat 21 Adventures is coming up on Tuesday night. I will be there for that. And, um, yeah, we're just having a great time. This is a wonderful, wonderful uh, time to be here. I am so excited about uh, the tour um, happening. Uh, can I... Can I on screen i don't know let me uh, let me try uh let's see if i can do that um can i bring that up on screen uh, no it doesn't look like i can um, <laughs> it doesn't look like i can show that but um yep we're gonna be at scarborough renaissance fair new jersey renaissance fair midsummer fantasy renaissance fair um goodness gracious Oh, 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 maybe I can, maybe I can. Hold on. Maybe I can bring it over. Uh can can I can I do that? Can I do it? Can I do it? There it is. Yay! So there we go. Ha ha! There's there it is. The pursued by a bear tour. Yes. Um, so let's see. Um Scarborough Renaissance Festival uh, in April and May, then New Jersey Renaissance Fair, the Midsummer Fantasy Renaissance Fair, uh, going to Scotland and uh, England uh, for the Run Adventures D&D tour with Paolo, Main Renaissance Fair, and then uh, going to directing and acting at the Connecticut Renaissance Fair, and then uh, actual physical dates for me, TBA, um, but the Louisiana Renaissance Festival. I was talking with the owner yesterday, so it's looking good. Um, anything else uh, will also get added in there. Um, but that is uh, some fun stuff. And uh, I do uh, hope to see you in all the um, right places. Um, 
thank you very thank you very much uh so david um that's just kind of how it is um i mean it, it, and it's both uh for new jersey and for me uh budgetary and then scheduling but um it works out for us all and we're gonna have a great time but um that being said my friends um i love you you love me there is mutual glorious affection and um i'll see you next time hopefully next week but otherwise uh we'll be back the week after um in the meantime i love you you love me mutual glorious affection bye bye